It is very difficult to dissect out the arteries and nerves that lie deep to the mucous membrane of the nasal cavity. It is best to review the position and distribution of the nerves and vessels on a skull where the foramina can easily be seen. This is a skull cut in half in the mid-sagittal plane. The nasal cavity is here and a part of the nasal septum has been removed so that the nasal cavity can be seen. The olfactory nerves, some of which are shown here in yellow, enter the cranial cavity through the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. There are many fine nerve fibers. The impression of these nerves can often be seen deep to the cribriform plate on the part of the septum formed by the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid. Note that the area where these nerves are found is small, about the size of a penny. Behind the superior meatus, there is an opening called the sphenopalatine foramen. There is a piece of wire in this foramen. The foramen leads to the pterygopalatine fossa. The artery that passes through the foramen is a terminal branch of the maxillary artery, the sphenopalatine, which distributes posterior lateral branches over the conchi and nasal septum. There are also two nerves that pass through this foramen. One of these two nerves is the nasopalatine, which lies on the surface of the nasal septum. This nerve projects anteriorly to the incisive canal. A wire has been placed in this canal. The nerve then projects to the incisor teeth and gums. The wire in this view of the hard palate is in the incisive fossa, into which enter the incisive canals from either side. This orientation allows you to look down into the posterior part of the nasal cavity. The wire is coming through the sphenopalatine foramen and represents the second nerve, which is the posterior, superior, lateral nasal branch of the maxillary nerve. This nerve spreads out and supplies the mucosa over the superior and middle conchi, which can be seen here through the area where the nasal septum has been removed. This is the piriform aperture of the nose. The mucosa over the inferior concha, seen here, is supplied by a branch of the greater palatine nerve. This nerve enters through a small foramen that we will see in a later step. Other entry points for nasal nerves and arteries are the anterior ethmoid foramen, which has a thread in it, and the posterior ethmoid foramen, if present. These foramina lie in the medial wall of the orbit, right on the suture line between the frontal bone and the ethmoid bone. A thread representing the anterior ethmoid nerve passes through the anterior ethmoid foramen and ends up in the anterior cranial fossa in the region of the cribriform plate. The anterior ethmoid artery and nerve then enter the nasal cavity by passing through an opening in the cribriform plate as shown by the thread. They are then distributed to the anterior part of the nasal cavity.